and we're rolling! Hello, this is FD from Rolling with FD. And I want to tell you about the 5,000 subscriber contest. If you can help us get to 5,000 subscribers, we have something for you. First, subscribe to the channel. And when you subscribe, you make yourself eligible for the contest. After you subscribe, leave your favorite player or players in the comments and let us know who those players are. And once you subscribe and leave your favorite players, you're eligible for the contest. First place for those who win, you'll get a card or cards of your favorite players listed up to $1,000. Second place, the second place winner will receive one card or cards of your favorite players listed up to $250. And for third place, there will be five winners. Each winner will receive one piece of Rolling With FD merch and one lucky winner of those five will receive two pieces of Rolling With FD merch. Please remember to enter the contest, you first need to subscribe and second, you need to leave your favorite player or players in the comments. Once you do both, you have entered the Rolling With FD Road to 5,000 subscriber contest. Help us get there. We really want to, but we know we can't do it without your help. Thank you. What's up everybody? This is FD from Rolling With FD and I'm excited today. We got a PSA card reveal and a mail day boom. We're combining them because some things is going on. You know that we went to Delmar and we submitted several cards to be graded by PSA. So we have a few cards that want to submit for grading. So you could either um, try to do it on your phone or on the yeah. So as you can see here, I've taken all five of my cards that I want to submit and I've put them in the online system. Good to go? Yeah. I appreciate you helping with the process. It was really my first time grading cars. I can remember back in the day, I'm gonna tell you this. You had to fill out a carbon copy paper of this, that, and the other. I really had no interest in that. But now you get on that website, you fill in your order form, it's simple. It populates. You put in the name of the card that kind of populates the rest. And then they have a verification phase where you can verify what the card actually says at the top. And if you confirm or agree with it. It's a real cool system. But we're gonna walk you through what cards we got back and what were the grades. Hey G, take him to the intro, cause it's on. Who's rolling with FD? Who's rolling with FD? I won with FD. What? Who's rolling with FD? I'm rolling with FD. Talk to him. Hi everyone, it's Monique from Drip and it's Drip time. I want to tell everyone out there about Drip. Drip is a live streaming platform where you can buy sports cards, Pokemon cards, phone calls, or other collectible items at the click of a button from your phone. Use my link here and in the description below to receive 15 bucks off your first purchase of 20 bucks or more anywhere in the app. Remember to use my code on dripshot.live for $15 off your first purchase. So first up, let's start with the mail day boom. I'm wearing Golden State, so you kind of know where I'm going with this. Here is a pop five, James Wiseman, orange fluorescent, Jim Minton. Hard card, number on the back out of 25. Hope you can see that, nice card. And I'm making long-term plays, people. People say, hey FD, are you worried that James Wiseman got sent to the G League? I'm not worried at all. I actually watch him in the G League to see how he's progressing, what's going on. We gotta remember that James Wiseman played three games in college, played 31 games in the NBA before he got hurt, came back, probably played seven games or so before he got sent to the G League. It's time to learn, time to sharpen our craft, time to understand what we need to do on the court. What is Golden State asking of him? I'm reading a lot of pick and roll, rebound, and setting strength. And he needs to master that before he can move on to anything else. So I'm good with the move. Next up, Optic, out of 10. You can see, three out of 10. Gold, second year car, Jimmy. We're gonna be getting this graded soon. So these two cars were the most recent pickups. Let me know what you think in the comments, all right? So next up, and this is in no particular order. We're about to jump into PSA. These are some cars I wanted to grade. I had them checked out by the Slab Doctor. Shout out to the Slab Doctor. And then we submitted them. So I'm gonna reveal these cars in no particular order. First up, we have a 2020 Spectre James Wiseman variation, Nebula 101. You saw me pick this up from Zach. Shout out to my man Zach at the Premier Card Show. Came back a PSA 8, 101 on the back. I like this card a lot. This is my first one-on-one -on -one of Wiseman in a Golden State jersey. I have another one in a college jersey with a Nike swoosh. You've seen that in another episode. But this is cool to me. Next up, we have a 2020 Panini Prism James Wiseman Fast Break Pink Prism. PSA 10. Low pop, people. Pop 3. This card is number 4 out of 50. So we all know this is a pop 1 because there's only one. 
Next up, we have a 2020 Panini Prism James Watson Blue Shimmer PSA 9. This card is out of 35. It's 34 out of 35. Pop 7 was 7 high. It's only 35 of them, people. But we got two nice ones coming up, people. Guess who's the player on these cards? Hmm. You all saw me walk the Burbank show, and I traded for this card with a BGS 9.5 Topps Chrome LeBron James rookie card that I purchased LeBron James rookie year, and I got this card raw. You're interested in this at all? Topps Chrome? Yeah. Man, I mean, who isn't? Would you put some cash on top of this? Plus 400. We gotta get a picture with you. Yeah, man. This is the 2021 President Steph Curry Green Shimmer PSA 9. This is a pop one. There's only five of them and you can see out of five on the back. I was very happy with this grade. Very happy. I can't tell you how happy I was with this grade. It's a real cool card. Card I thought I would never own or have, but it's a real cool card. What's important about this card is that I traded for this with a BGS 9.5 LeBron James card that had a high population to a card that's only a five print run on the back. Looked at the car, analyzed it. Also had it looked at by the slab doctor, and it's a nine. Sometimes you gotta take that chance. And our last car to that was that I went to Frankenstein's here in LA. I walked to the show. I was there to get an autograph for a friend from Vince Coleman. And as we were walking around waiting for the show to start, we kind of bumped into a person selling cars that had a raw Bowman 2009 Steph Curry car. Right after purchasing the car, the same day, we took the car to the slab doctor. This is what he said. All right, so I would say this is a very, very nice example of this car. Like, like most Bowman, slightly off. Fortunately, in this case, it's slightly off in both directions equally. You're looking at roughly 5842 centering. So you shouldn't get any points deducted, shouldn't get any points deducted based on the centering alone. Your bottom right hand corner is less than perfect. It's soft, there's no bends, there's no creases, etc. But yeah, this is really, really solid. I would say that this is a slam dunk nine if it's anybody except for Kurt. Uh, but they do, plain and simple, the higher profile players get more time. So I said, hey, we gotta submit it. This car has to be slab. We have to tell the full story. We should tell the full story of what happened to the card after we purchased it. So we sent this card in to be graded. This is the 2009 Bowman Steph Curry rookie card. And people, it came back a Jim in 10. This is the 152nd card graded of PSA 10 by PSA. You all know that the card is numbered on the back. This is number 459 out of 2009. People call this the white border. There's many different names for this card, but it's a wonderful card. And I wanted to tell you all the complete story. Picking it up raw, all the way to grading. What's the probability of that? Sometimes you just gotta believe. And I know the slab doctors gave us an accurate assessment of what he saw, but still grade the card, you never know. And if he would've came back a nine, I'm still happy. Pop on that is 137. I'm still very happy. This will be in my PC, people. Not going anywhere. And what's so cool about this card, like we talked about, walked it, saw it, analyzed it, took it to the slab doctor to have it analyzed again. He thought it would be lower, so did I. And it's a 10. Thank you all for watching the PSA grade submission card reveal and the mail day mode. I really appreciate you all being here and sharing these stories with you. All of these cards represent stories of how I'm collecting, what I'm collecting, what I've added to the PC, different moves I made, things I went from raw. All of these cards were purchased in a raw state. And to make the story complete, right? These two cards bought them off eBay. I asked for additional pictures. One card I asked for additional pictures even after I asked for more pictures. And I analyzed those pictures. Now, the other part of this story is that so these three cards were purchased in person. Looked at the card, all were purchased raw, talked to the sellers, they had them great. So there's different ways you can go about doing different things. But I hear people tell me all the time, hey, FD, I can't buy cars off eBay when they're raw because I don't know what the condition is going to be. If the person won't send me more pictures, I can't make the deal. But if they will, I'm going to ask for the pictures that I need to make the decision on different angles, looking at different things, focus on certain areas, just like I would if I was buying a car in person. I want to thank you all for watching this. It means a lot to me to walk you through the cars I graded with PSA from submitting them at Delmar and the cars I picked up on a mail day. 
like, subscribe, hit the notifications button. We want to bring you more content and we intend to. Got a lot of big shows coming up in 2023 and we got a lot of conversations to talk about family, the hobby and everything in between. So please join us. And let me tell you all this. We have 12 days of Christmas coming up that you don't want to miss. G has been working really hard. I've been working really hard. And we have an executive producer that we're going to reveal that's been working with us. And we're going to show you different highlights throughout the year of different things we've uh, talked about, places we've been to, people we've met for 12 days of Christmas. More is coming. Thank you all. Like, subscribe, hit the notifications button. We'll be back to you soon. And we're rolling.